So you wanted to know how a Cuban Christmas is? Check it out. Yeah! Yes, I know it's a little crazy and a lot of noise, but that's what matters, guys. What matters is that the family and the friends get together and celebrate this beautiful day. Let's keep going. Let me start by telling you this, everything here depends on the size of the animal. This marinade is going to start with a lot of cumin powder. We're also going to use onion powder, a lot of garlic powder, and coriander powder. The regular stuff, this is coarse pepper and sea salt. After that, we're just going to mix it really well, make sure that everything is well mixed in there, and I'm going to add a little bit of soy sauce. Of course, this is not going to be a Cuban marinade without a lot of sour orange juice. We're going to put two oranges right now, mix it up, and you keep adding juice as you need it. Mix it up, and if you feel that it is too thick still, try to add some more orange juice into it. This is going to make everything a lot better and easier to handle. This is the consistency that I'm looking for. As you can see, it's wetty, it's not thick at all, and that's because we're gonna be adding some more garlic into it. Let me show you how we do it. Here I have about a dozen garlic cloves. If you want more, you can put more. It all depends on how much you like garlic. Cut it really thin. It doesn't have to be mice, but it has to be cut really, really thin. And then just add it into your marinade. Once you add this garlic into the marinade, it's gonna get a little bit thicker. So make sure it's not too thick. That's the main thing, guys. Don't let it get too thick. If you see it is too thick, put more sour orange juice into it and don't worry too much about it. This is the consistency I'm looking for. This is exactly the way I want it to be. Once your marinade is ready, start adding it into the pig. That's the most important part here. If you still have some left after you're done with this, it is okay to put it outside. But the most important part is the inside. That's the one that have to have all the marinade. Well guys, now we have this beautiful piggy with the marinade on top. We're gonna put it back in the fridge for 24 hours and tomorrow, tomorrow we have a party, baby. The next day, the first thing we did was to cook some congri. In this case, the congri should be half done, so it finished cooking inside the roast. Once you're done stopping your congri, make sure you saw all the holes in the pig. As you can see here, I did saw it two times inside and outside. I felt like a surgeon that day. Once it is all sealed, it's time to put the skewer and secure the entire pig to it. Make sure you don't let any loose ends, otherwise your pig can end up on the fire. It has happened to me. When you decide to speed roast the whole pig, you have to make sure that the fire is correct. As you can see, in this case, I'm only putting fire in the front and the back of the animal, not in the middle. The middle will cook too fast if you put the fire directly in there. Make sure you keep the fire in the thickest areas of the animal. In the middle of the roast, we felt like the wind was picking up and it was moving the heat away from the pig. So we decided to surround the entire operation with some pieces of plywood I have and keep going. You need to be ready to improvise if you're cooking outdoors. Guys, you remember Esteban? Esteban is the famous Michelada. Yes. Aha. Here, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year for everybody on the channel. Everybody was asking for Esteban. Esteban is here, look at this. And he's looking beautiful than ever. Thank you. Look at it, look at it, look at it. We have Mr. Jose here. We have the beautiful Jessica here.
you guys see that rice cooking inside that pig? All that flavor, all that fat, all that juiciness got inside that rice, guys, and that thing was crazy, man. That was amazing. That's one of the best ones I ever eaten. People ate the rice and the beans, the, the congri, we call it congri, before they ate the pig. And the pig was amazing, guys. Let's see what the people say about the pig. Merry Christmas! <laughs> wow, amazing! Best pig of my life. The delicious. best. Delicious? Delicious. Super delicious. Oh my God. Well, guys, with all that craziness going on, all the dancing and all the eating and all the laughing, we didn't have time to say goodbye to you. So here I am to tell you that if you like the video, please hit us with a like. If you want to learn more about what we do here and see future videos, subscribe to the channel. And if you have anything to say, any comment, whatever, put that down in the comments. That pig is dark, but it's not burned, okay? So don't crucify me on that. That's all we have for today, guys. But remember that I love you. Seven's <laughs> girlfriend, so nobody can say anything. Big master girlfriend. What do you think about it? Oh wow! Oh my God! Look at that.